So since moving into this house, we've had this really slow draining sink, especially compared to the one next to it, it takes way longer to fully drain. Now there's many reasons for this to happen, but more than likely there's just like a buildup of hair, soap scum, toothpaste, and other weird bodily fluids, which is kind of gross. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix this common issue without using any harsh chemicals or major tools. Now people's first instinct is to run down to your local hardware store and grab some of this drain pipe cleaner unclogger stuff. Now this stuff, without revealing any name brands, they're all as toxic as each other. They contain a bunch of harmful corrosive chemicals which is gonna wreak havoc on your plumbing and pipes. And when have you ever seen a plumber drag this stuff out of their toolbox? Can you pass me the drain cleaner? You don't have any. Exactly. Now more than likely the issue with the slow draining sink lies within this P-trap right below it. So this right here in my hand is known as a P-trap and you'll find one of these under every sink, bath and shower in your home. Now they serve a few different purposes. The main one is that in this lower section right here it will collect water and that stops any of the horrible smelling gases coming from the sewer into your bathroom and stinking out your house which is very important. It also helps collect any debris, but over time that debris does build up and it will slow down the draining process, which is what I believe is going on with my sink right now. Now with the modern P-trap, some of them have a cleaner at the bottom, which saves a lot of time. But more often than not, yours won't have this. So you'll have this twist connection nut either side of your P-trap. Now these are designed so you can take them out and clean them and put them back when your sink isn't draining properly, which is what we're gonna do today. Now after placing the bucket underneath the P-trap, I can carefully loosen the connection nuts, eventually oh. freeing the P-trap. Did you just see that horrible blob of grossness just slide out? Well, that there is the answer to our problem. That's what's slowing down the flow of water, creating that blockage. So now I can go ahead and take this outside and clean it out. And I'm also gonna clean around the pipes where the P-trap was connected to. And now that my P-trap and the connecting pipes are nice and clean, I can go ahead and carefully reattach this in just original position. Now when tightening the connection nuts, you wanna make sure you're doing it with little to no force. See, I can almost do this with one hand and it spins pretty freely. If there's a bit of a struggle there, more than likely you're cross threading the nuts and you're gonna to wanna to stop, rewind and do it again because you're gonna cause a lot of trouble. And you also wanna make sure you don't over tighten them. So you keep on going until it feels hand tight. That way you don't crack the PVC. Now the P-trap is on, I wanna test it for leaks by putting some blue shop towel directly underneath the P-trap. I like to use blue shop towel instead of paper towels because it's easier to identify water drips. Now I can go ahead and run the tap for 30 seconds, making sure that there's no little drips. I'm also gonna fill the bowl right up and let it do a full cycle and then check the leaks again. Now fortunately I don't have any leaks, but if I did, I'd go back and check my connections, make sure they're nice and hand tight. And this sink is now draining like a freaking dream. Now if you enjoyed this quick tip video and you found it useful, you're gonna love this video here of me adjusting one of my rubbing doors. And you won't believe how simple the solution is to this fix. Or if you wanna see some of my longer renovations or my modern furniture builds, click on some of these longer videos up here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.